Hi, um, I'm here to tell you a tutorial on how to do the one-handed riffle shuffle. One-handed shuffle, whatever, same thing. You're still doing the riffle shuffle with one hand, whatever. It's just called different things by different people. Um, I suggest you use an older deck for practicing, or some people like using a newer deck because it slides better, but the older cards kind of like tend to stick together because of all the junk that gets built up on them and the new cards kinda slip around so uh, you m my suggestion is practice with an older deck because when you're having to split the deck it you kinda need it to stay together unless you have a lot of practice um, I'm still not that great at this so don't get all mad and start like criticizing how much I'm horrible at it or whatever um, I've from watching other people's videos they've said that you bend the cards that helps I've tried it and it helps a lot more for me at least so just bend the cards that's why I said use an old deck also because you probably don't want bend in your new cards you can bend them back but whatever um so just bend the cards so that it's got a bend actually that's kind of a big bend but whatever as long as it's got a kind of a bend in it you might want to split the deck in half and bend the end part not the beginning cause it doesn't get bent when you bend it all in one piece. Um, so you bend the cards. I bent them this way. Um, you can bend them this way. It doesn't matter. Um, you just want it to be like a bowl going in like this when you're holding it, not like a bubble coming up like that way. So if I would hold it like this, this would be bubbling up. That's not the way that you want to hold it. Because um, then it's just going to... It, having the bend in it by holding it that way is not going to do you any good. Um, so you hold the cards. How you hold them? You put your thumb on one side. I'm using my right hand. I'm sorry this isn't over the shoulder, but um, I can't really tape the webcam on my shoulder and have it look good or wherever. Put it behind me. Plus, this is kind of bad quality anyway. So whatever you guys can figure it out. Um, you hold it with your thumb on one side and your oh, your ring finger and your middle finger on the other side. Some people say to line your middle finger and your thumb up. See, mine aren't exactly lined up, but I kind of just have my fing my fingers just feel like where they kind of belong there, and that's how I hold it. And your pinky goes on the bottom of the deck, like that, and your I keep my ring finger on the top. It doesn't really matter. Some people say keep it back there. You're going to move it anyway, so really it doesn't matter how you start. Then you're going to want to, on the side with your ring finger and middle finger, you're going to take your pointer and move it there. And you're just going to want to split the deck close to half. It doesn't really matter. And I move the deck up kind of so it goes to my knuckle see right there where the first knuckle is I kinda just line that up with the first um, first part of the deck there I just like how it fits there it kinda holds it better and everything else your all your other fingers are gonna be staying the same there so your thumb your middle finger middle finger and ring finger and pinky are still the same it's just that your index finger has gone into the deck and split it now this is kinda hard this is the first challenging part in this for me it was at least that's why I f used older cards because they stick together so this makes this step kinda easier once you have your uh, pointer finger inside the deck like this you're just gonna wanna I turn the deck like this it helps me um, so with your ring and middle finger down towards the floor or desk wherever you're doing it then you just let it slide like this on your index finger and you're gonna grab it like that Okay, I'm doing it slow so it's kinda off and so you're gonna have this and you should be able to move it pretty good now that's kinda hard to get it to come um, slide down your finger that's the first part cause sometimes cards like get stuck and come up like this and you're like uh... what do i do so just keep practicing it with the bend it kinda also helps to hold them together and old cards also help too so you split it you go down and grab it like this getting it to come 
off the top like this it's kind of hard if you have smaller hands and my hands are kind of small but basically just keep trying because sometimes mine used to get stuck like this and I would never be able to get over the end so just keep trying and eventually you'll be able to get it out pretty well you kind of get a feel for it so then some people say move your fingers like this um, I'm still trying this method or whatever you call it so you keep your pinky on the bottom and uh, middle finger on top I had it like this with the ring finger I mean the middle finger on the side but I'm gonna try like this for now you keep your pointer finger is holding the pressure on both decks and your thumb is on the other side now this is kinda where your fingers stay aligned your thumb your pointer and your ring finger see how they're kinda closely aligned not exactly but pretty close um, your fingers will kinda like naturally cradle the deck um, but this is just what I, my experience is um, so then you just gonna wanna bring the deck together like this you kinda wanna get the bottom the two bottoms of the decks to be partially even touching like that and also on this step you're gonna want the decks to be pretty squared up these are pretty square but like you don't want it like this or something trying to go because it's not gonna work that great so if you need to in the beginning just square it up with your other hand and that just for the beginning eventually you'll be able to do it where they stick together and so now you're gonna want to get these two to go the bottoms to be lined up pretty closely now this is where the bend helps the bend in the cards because now when you stick the bottoms together like this and you push mm, of course it's not gonna work now hold on let me just go over again when you push with the bend in it it will help um, the bend will help have them riffle through with each other so I'm not the best at this so don't criticize me or anything back at this step oh my goodness what the heck anyway with the bend it they should bend up like this like that and then you just push them and they should go together mine of course are not going together because I just did this like fifteen times off camera and now I'm on the camera and it's not working for you guys uh, okay whatever um you kinda get the idea here of what you gotta do just kinda get them together here uh, whatever I know people are gonna leave all these comments saying how much I'm horrible at this but don't please this is just meant to help alright so you stick the deck together like that they should go together but so that sometimes it doesn't work also people said to use plastic cards that really helps a lot I don't I guess it's just just cuz they're like more flexible or whatever but that helps a lot because before I could do this um, before I could kinda do it with regular deck of cards I could do it pretty much perfect with uh, plastic cards if you don't know what they are it's kind of hard to explain. It's just a piece of plastic with cards printed on them. Pretty much wherever you buy your cards, they'll probably have these. If you go buy them at a store or whatever, any magic shop should have them. They may not, but whatever. These, you can't really bend because they won't stay. The bend won't stay. So you just keep the hands in the same position again. Split the deck. Whoops split the deck and have it come down now this is hard because it's plastic so see how they're sliding out like this you might just need to square them up if you're starting off and even when you're not sometimes they fall now with this you just push them together now see they just riffle together really nicely now you just squeeze your hand like this with your fingers all the same I, I move my pinky from here to here actually and 